We're here with Zach and his mom, Laura. Zach, you're 17 and you were pretty healthy until you were what, 14? Yeah. What happened? I went for a jog in August with my sister. My hips started to hurt, so I went to physical therapy for like two months. In November, got an MRI and found a tumor. Remember that date well, huh? I do. Had a lot of hope that it wasn't cancer. And I remember reading osteosarcoma and what that entailed and just deciding, yeah, we're not gonna do that, and it was. What were you thinking, Zach? It didn't really hit me right away. I remember waking up and finding out and was like, I'm going back to sleep, this isn't real. That was rough. Well, I fell down, down, down to this dark and lonely hole. There was no one there to care about me anymore. And I needed a right to climb and grab a hold of the edge you were sitting there. In a row. Were you angry that you had something so rare? I, I don't know, I've never really thought of it that way, but uh, I just figured it's cancer, you gotta get through it, but yeah, it's rare. I don't know, might as well just be proud of it. <laughs> Better than one in a million, I guess. Your smile is huge from ear to ear. How do you smile through cancer? You live right here, right in front of you. You don't focus on anything in the future. And so you make small plans and focus on those and just like the little things, honestly. It sounds cliche, but it's true. It's the little things that are, get you through the day. If only I had a little bit more time. If only I had a little bit more time. Laura, your face just changes when you no. hear this. <laughs> what are you thinking? I hate this. He's been an inspiration to everybody around him. You, you have to live right here. We have our things that we look forward to, but we don't plan out more than three months. This is supposed to be the summer of your life between junior and senior year, and this is the summer where you know it's your last hurrah. And to kick off this summer, you got some of the worst news. We got to go on this awesome trip to yeah. Europe, but during that trip, I noticed he was limping through a course of events. We ended up having a PET scan and finding out that his, the cancer had moved to his pelvis. That's as bad as it gets because you can't take it out and you have to take this cancer out. All of the big guns that really tackle this cancer are gone for us. We've been told he has months to a year to live. This thing is a monster and it's bearing down on us and there's nothing pretty or fluffy about this. This is what it is. It's kind of like picking up sticks and throwing it at this cancer. It, it likes to go to the lungs and that will be eventually what takes Zach is it'll fill up his lungs. And that's what we have to look forward to, and there's nothing we can do about it. What do you want everyone to know about your mom? <laughs> <laughs> probably the strongest woman I know. I know if I had a kid with cancer, I probably couldn't handle it. I mean, having to watch a kid go through this. What do you want people to know about you? Um, that I'm completely normal. There's nothing different about me. That's the thing. It happens to normal people. And that's what I thought when I had it. It was like, wow, this can't happen to anyone. Are you stronger than you thought you were? Uh, so far? Yeah. He's been good. That's why I'm okay. When he's not okay, I'm not okay. You got a lot of people counting on you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I try and do my best. It's hard when you have a teenager. He's a six foot one, 17 year old. He doesn't want to cry in front of his mom. He doesn't want to cuddle. <laughs> you know, if he was five, I'd know what to do. Scoop him up in my arms and I'd hold him and I'd cuddle him and, and read him a book. The thing with childhood cancer is that your kids go where you can't go. I don't have any wisdom to give him because he's beyond me. I can give girlfriend advice, I can give college advice, but I can't give him any advice on how to die. He'll go up, 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 but I'll fly a little higher. Go up in the clouds because he's a little nicer.